Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Ohio Wesleyan University Department of Theater and Dance's production of Voitsec Incorporated. Please take this time to silence all of your electronic devices. Recording in the use of flash photography is prohibited. To help prevent the spread of COVID-19, please wear a face mask throughout the performance and follow the physical distancing guidelines displayed on the theater seats. The performers will not be wearing masks for tonight's performance. All of the actors have been rehearsing with masks up until this point, and they have all recently tested negative for COVID-19. If this aspect of the performance makes you uncomfortable, a recorded version of the show will be available online. This performance of Voitsec Incorporated will have flashing lights, strong language, depictions of graphic violence, and sexual references. There will not be an intermission. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What if you never had to choose between spending time at work and spending time at home? As of today, that dream is now a reality, and you can get paid to have it. Welcome to the Prime Media Workers' Village. The first of its kind, Prime Media offers our employees a chance to work where they live and live where they work. Imagine, after a fulfilling day in our production center, you only need to walk a short distance to find yourself in your very own spacious, state-of-the-art living space. Picture being able to walk only a short distance to the grocery store, surrounded by beautifully landscaped outdoor spaces. Hundreds of job opportunities exist within our production centers, and there's thousands of possibilities for you inside our doors. Prime Media is offering the future to those brave enough to come work for us. We can find the future together. Prime Media, not just your life, ours. Apply today. Quiet. Everything's quiet like if the world were dead. Uh, 
thinking, why so quiet, child? Are you afraid? It's getting so dark you think you're blind. Normally the light's shining. I can't stand it. It's so creepy. Slow down, boys. Slow down. I just look at you. I mean, one thing after another. You make me dizzy with all that running around you do. Just think one sec. You still have, what, 50 odd years left to live? Oh, 50 wonderful years! So many days, hours, and minutes, one sec. What will you do with all that tremendous amount of time? Use your time better, one sec. A yes, director. Have you thought about eternity, Floyd Sec? Uh-uh. I have. I fear for this world when I think of eternity. You do something, you work at something, and, well, it feels like an eternity, but then once you're done with it, you, you realize there's nothing but an eternity. It was only a single moment, Floyd Sec. I want to waste time! Yes, Director. Floyd Sec, you always look so anxious. A good person doesn't do that. Uh, a good person is someone with a good conscience, yes? Come on, boys, say something. What's the weather like today? Uh, uh, bad, director, bad, windy. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a strong wind. You feel it coming in from here. Mm -hmm. There's a storm coming. It makes you feel small, insignificant, like a mouse. I hate storms. It's a south north wind, isn't it, Boyd said? Uh, yes, director, I'm south north wind. <laughs> south north! <laughs> south north. Boyd said, you are so stupid. You are so dreadfully stupid. But, Boyd said, you're a good man. But you have no morals. Morality. It's, it's when you're moral, man. Yeah? It's a good word, man. Yeah? You know, I heard from the floor manager that you were late to the morning shift. Why? Well, uh, I was breaking down boxes for you, and I, I lost track of time. Your co-worker said that you were asleep while he broke down boxes. Is that true? Well, uh, yes, but No I... buts, Floyd said. You know the rules. I'm going to have to make a deduction off of your allotted bathroom break time. What are you currently at? One minute, six seconds. I'm bumping you down to 30 seconds. That's still plenty of time to use the restroom. Yes, Director. Now, there's something else I want to talk to you about. You said, uh, your son is a bastard when I went luck. And that's what the boys on the floor are saying, not me, boys say. I never use such vulgar language. Anyway, the hires, my bosses, they, they say it's bad for business. And it might affect our conservative and religious consumer bases, yeah? And I'll afford you the research from PR that has some strategies laid out for you. Well, I appreciate the advice, Director, but it's like it said in the Bible. You know? <laughs> the, the Bible? Voice, we don't have the Bible here. It's in the employee handbook. You have read the employee handbook, haven't you? A long time ago, but I... That's no excuse, Voice said. Other employees have memorized the handbook. Those employees have morals. I'm going to have to take off more time. I'm bumping you down to 30 seconds. One more rule broken, and you'll have to take money out of your paycheck. No, 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 please don't, Director. I don't have enough money as it is. Us poor people, we're only flesh and blood. We live unfortunate lives in this world and the next. Honestly, when, when, when we go to heaven, I think we'll be put to work making the thunder. Boyd said, flesh and blood. Boyd said, when I was a young man, I would sit on the windowsill and watch all the pretty girls walk by, and God damn it, Boyd said, I'd fall in love with every last one of them. Boyd said, flesh and blood, it's virtue. Virtue is what separates man from beast, what separates me from you. If I did not have virtue, how then could I pass the time, man? Yeah? You see, I always tell myself, you're a good man, a virtuous man. Yeah, Dr. Virtue. I don't have that yet. You see, us normal people down on the floor, we don't have virtue. Nature comes to us first. But, but if I were a gentleman and I had a, a tie and a silk shirt like you, I'd want to be virtuous. There must be 
something beautiful about virtue, Director. Good, Void said. Good. You're a good man, but, uh, when you think too much, work on that. This conversation has tired me. You said the doctor wanted to see you? Uh -huh. Go now. And don't run, as you often do. <laughs> Go slowly. Very slowly. Tell me if I didn't see what I think I saw, Boyce. Are you a man of your word? Are you? What's the matter? Uh -huh. I saw you, Boyce. You pissed on the wall. It wasn't, it doesn't say that a great time when you pissed against the wall like a dog. And yes, you made 1350 an hour and you get housing and food. Oh, Boyce, this is bad. The world's going to shit to complete shit. Well, I mean, sorry, Doc, but when nature calls, you. Nature calls? Nature calls? A superstition! Abominable superstition! Have I not proven to you that the musculus constrictor vesicae, your latter muscle, is subject to will? Nature, one sec, man is free. Man has individuality, and man transforms that individuality into freedom. You would have gone without nature any day.
God, the whole thing is coming down. What's that? What's coming down? The heavens! And then the sun dies out and the world ends! When everything is dark, when everything is so dark that you have to use your hands to even walk, it'll feel like you're walking on a spider web. When everything's dark, that's when everyone will see it just like me. When everything's dark, all you'll see is a burning glow in the west like fire from a furnace from the angels from heaven. You're skipping around the room like a spider. Come on. The weeds in the concrete, have you seen the shape in which the weeds grow? In the shape of a body! Are the legends true? Or do we just tell ourselves that they're true? I would say, you have a perfect example of adoration in the house of Oh, this is wonderful. Wait a sec. You get a bonus. <laughs> you still go by your usual routine, yes? Or still shaping the director? Yeah. Please? Like clockwork, Doctor. My, my wife gets all my money from this. Still carrying out your work? Yeah. You are such an interesting case, boy, sir. I don't think it was a madhouse at this rate. Hmm. You get a bonus. An additional. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe just as long as you behave. Oh, well, what do you need me to do now? Just keep eating your peas. Good bonus, okay? An additional dime per week. I need to work on a new theory about this. Go on a one sec. Thank you. 
friend? What are you talking about? Nothing, uh, Marie. It's uh, not important. It's just that, uh, well, um, Marie, do you need them? Edge at that pot luck cost all our meal points, and I am one misstep from getting my paycheck off. Hey, Mom, so, I'm um, not a woman, right? Can I just look beautiful for one day without you trying to take it away from me? No, Marie, no. It's all right. Forget I said it. Him. How can that boy sleep like that? Sweats glistening on his forehead. All of us are working so hard that we're even sweating in our sleep. Us poor people. Oh, uh, here's some money, right? My pay and a little something extra from the director. Thanks. Could have sworn he said they were silver. Now we're going to Until tonight, Marie, uh, there's work to be done. I. Oh, I'm a bad person. I can stab myself. Nope. Never mind. Every single one of us goes to hell. Anyway, every man, every woman, and every child. Such a hurry, Dr. Death. <laughs> Why are you moving so slowly, Dr. Dumbtruck? Please, if you operate as fast as you walk, you pile up bodies faster than they can dig graves for them. <laughs> Very funny. I'm not the one stealing anyone's time like you are, Director. If I die with those patients as slow as you move, Dawn. <laughs> That's a bad joke, really, Dr. Death. <laughs> but really, no offense intended. <laughs> hey, you might say, what are you rushing past us for? Come here. Eh? Boy, Zach, you, you run around the world like an open razor. You're bound to slice someone open. You're running around like you have a whole warehouse of workers to shave, and they'll hang by your hair if you don't get there in the next minute. <laughs> You know, speaking of hair and beards, uh, there was something I wanted to talk to you about, Wojtek. Uh, what was it? It was a long beard or a lion's beard? It must be that a long beard, as dictated in the Boy's Handbook, is not allowed since it could easily be caught in the bear box. Isn't that right, Director? Oh, yes, I remember now, Wojtek. Come on, come on. Say, Wojtek, you wouldn't have happened to have found any strange, unusual hairs in your bowls at home? From here or something, like uh, an engineer's or a sergeant's or, hey, maybe a floor manager's. <laughs> Just think, Wojtek, you're a good man, you have a good wife. Not all men can say as such. Yeah, Director, um, but why are you trying to tell me about a beard and a dog? Never mind all that, Wojtek, but remember, if you go home, you might still find a pair of lips. A few pairs of lips pressed up against one another. <laughs> Remember what I said. I've got flesh and blood. I've fallen in love too. It's <laughs> wrong, Floyd said. You've gone white as chalk. Director. I'm not going to poor man, so if you're joking, you, you better. What do you say? Let me take your balls. Director. Weak? Hard? Skipping me, you regular? <coughs> Director, everybody complains that it's so hot, but to me, everything feels cold. Uh, all the time, I bet hell it'll be cold for me, too. Wait a second. What is with that look you're giving me? You're stabbing me with that look. I only ever wish you well. Facial muscles, rigid, tense, twitching, posture, excited, tight. I'm not a hum. There's so much in life to do. Director, poor men, rich men, they're all the same thing. Human beings, and, and so much is possible for human beings. Director, look, look at the beautiful weather we're having, yeah? No wind like the other day. There's nothing but a solid gray sky. So solid, you want to reach up and hammer in a solid block of wood and hang yourself from it. Do you see the line? I see the line. 
Can't say only because of that little dash, that, that little line between yes and no, yes and no, protector. Is the yes guilty because of the no? Or, or is the no guilty because of the yes? I gotta go home. Walk fast, think fast. They're all much too fast for me. A Voigtsang totters along, and then the doctor scuttles like a spider after him. The Voigtsang is lightning, and the doctor thunder. Hello, Frank. Oh, it's still you, Marie? Were you expecting someone else? Nothing. Nothing at all. You can't see any sign of it. Nothing, not a mark on you. What's the matter? Make you look disturbed. Marie, the world is like a road. A road? A road, and, and what a beautiful road it is, too. So beautiful you could run around and around until your feet are covered in blisters, and even then it could still be beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about. But one can't fully enjoy life, the road, by themselves. Uh, imagine having to walk down a long road alone and be scared. It's good to have company. Sure, I guess. And there are billions of people on this planet, so there are a lot of people walking down this road. And you get to stop and talk to anyone you want, and spend time with anyone you want, and press your lips with anyone you want. That's none of my business. Don't you have somewhere to be instead of talking crazy again? Did he stand here? Or, or there? What about you? Did you stand there like that, or did you stand like this? I wish I could have been... Him? Him! Don't listen to gossip, Frank. So let me offer you some advice, Marie. Don't lose track of your lips. It's a damn shame they're so beautiful. Beautiful like a flower. But even wasps like to sit on flowers. I'm married to a madman! I can't see it, but I know it's there. Are you seeing the apocalypse in the sky again? Look outside, it's as blue as blue can be. Sin so thick and fast and reeks so strong you can smoke the angels out of heaven from here. You've a red, red mouth, Marie. You are as beautiful as sin. Can what sins be beautiful like? <laughs> Your forehead's hot, Frank. The fever's getting to you. No! No! Did he stand here it's like this? As the day is long, as the world is old, so many people can stand in any one place, one after the other. I saw him. You can see an awful lot of things if you have two eyes, or if you're not blind, or if the sun fucking shot. Oh my god! Don't touch me, Frank! I'd rather have a knife in my body than your hands on me. There's something in her that. <laughs> Everyone is a deep abyss in it, and it makes you dizzy when you look into them. It's a warning. You can't lie forever. My esteemed colleagues, I want to create a new man. People talk of robots if they are the future. Do you know what they lack? Anxiety. Fear, a drive. See, you can program a robot to do what you want, but you can never change their circumstances to compel them. A human, though, if you take away the bathroom time or food, they will work twice as hard to get that back. Do you see that worker down there with the collar on? This button here will send signals to that collar and administer an electric shock by thinking you move too slow. Watch as he increases his speed with just one press. Voicek, what are you doing here? Voicek! What do you want, Voicek? Our next meeting is not until next week. Have you got enough keys? Doctor, I'm shaking. I don't care if you're shaking. I need guests to. Oh, I guess. Oh, beautiful Voicek. Oh, what does it say? He must have heard me yelling and move fast without the shock. What can I say? Here works wonders. Anyways, forget the collar for a moment. Oh, look at this. This man for a quarter of a year has eaten nothing but peace. Oh, come, see him next to yourself. He was false. 
Is she? Does she want to pull out your hair? He's been getting really quite thin over the past few days now. It must be your keys! We can discuss this more tonight. At the bar. Turn this on me.
He said something. How do you know? Are you the one looking and listening? <sighs> They're talking about the uh, the blood moon eclipse thing tonight. Oh wait, wait. Now they're laughing, especially the floor manager. She's saying that she's a gorgeous woman and that she likes it. But then I can't stand up like, mm -hmm. Andre, do you remember the dream I told you I had last night about the night? I've been having a lot of weird dreams lately. Yeah, I don't know. Where are you going? I have work to do, Andre. I... Do you remember when we first met? Her dark hair, fiery eyes. I fell in love with her instantly, but that seems so long ago. She used to be such a unique girl, I... Who? Who was? Stick with 
me, kid, and maybe we can make a floor manager out of you yet. Shh, just count the boxes going down the conveyor belt. One, two, three, oh, he's asleep.
Keep dancing, everyone. Devil's got your heels. We'll get you one day. Mark, oh, Mark, 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 come sit with me. Oh God, it's hot. Everything's so hot. Mark, you're so hot. Why is that? I try so hard to keep warm. You'll be cold one day, Margaret. Be reasonable. Have you seen on Come dance with me. No. No, I don't want to dance. I don't want to dance. What's that on your head? What? Blood! It's blood! What? Oh my god, that's blood. No, I. I must have put my hand in someone. Then why is there blood on your elbow, too? Why? Well, I'm so white. It's in there by mistake. You wiped your right hand on your right elbow? My... What do you all want from me? What the hell? Think I killed someone? Think I'm a murderer? What are you looking at? Look at yourselves! Get out of my way! Thanks for coming to the show.